Good morning and welcome to this segment of the program. Inua Gata Dosaka is still my name and you know it's going to be very wonderful today. Me coming your way to add value to your day and drive help you drive what you do. Now sometimes back I was speaking in a conference, in a meeting, and after speaking, it was a leadership and business uh, conference. After you know handling my session, a lady walked up to me who was an ex-banker. She was in the bank before and she was laid off and paid off. And she told me how the money she was uh, giving after being laid off with some savings she had put together, that she just invested the money into setting up a daycare center, what you popularly, popularly call crutch center. She said she rented a complete building, you know, got the facilities or the equipment that are needed to, you know, run that kind of venture. And then she got started. And two, three years down the line, the business folded up. You know, the business folded up and, you know, things didn't go the way as anticipated. Now, while I was seriously, you know, having this empathy towards her, you know, it just came to my mind that she started too big. And that was the response I gave to her. I said, Madam, it appears you started too big. And immediately I made that statement, immediately I gave her that response, the body language she exhibited actually shows that she started too big. She started too big. Now, if you are going into business like this ex-banker I just talked about, and you have never done business before, even if you have 15 million naira saved up or stuck up in your bank account, it is not advisable that you just pour all the 15 million naira into that business venture you want to go into. If you have never done business before, please underline that. If you have never done business before, probably you were in the civil service, now you are retired, you want to get yourself busy, which is so powerful, so good, and you want to go into business, you take all your gratuity, you take all the money you have saved up over time, you know, and you just pour it into business where you have never done business before. That is not very wise. The reason is because based on the fact that you have never done business before, there is a high probability of you making mistakes. Exactly what happened to that lady that met me after I spoke in that uh, business and leadership conference. She told me that she was laid off, you know, from the bank. She was paid off and all the money she had, she rented a complete building, bought facilities inside, the things that are needed to run a daycare or a crash center. And two, three years down the line, the business folded up. Things didn't go the way as anticipated. She was in the banking sector. She has never been into entrepreneurship before. She has never done business before. And she poured all she had into that line of business and like i said she made some mistakes and all the money she put in just went down the drain so there is a natural tendency there is a high level of probability that if you have never done business before and you are going into business now you will likely make mistakes and it is not palatable when you make mistake with all the money you have in your bank account so like i said even if you have 15 million in your bank account, 20 million, as the case may be 5 million, 2 million, I will personally recommend to you that you take 30 to 60% of that money and invest it into that business. If you have never done business before, invest it into it and watch how things go. Because sometimes, oftentimes even, things don't go the way as anticipated. Some dynamics can play out in the business environment, in the economic environment, and even in the political environment that will make things not to go the way as anticipated. So put 30 to 60% of your savings into it. Watch how things go. And now, if you make profit, it doesn't just mean that you should go and clear the remaining balance in your bank account to go into the business. What I will recommend to you is to plow back the profit. Let that reserve in your bank account. Let it be there. In case of any eventuality, you have a buffer, a reserve to fall back to. 
plow back the profit and then let it grow organically, let it grow itself over time, then, you know, we see ourselves smiling to the bank and making progress. And in addition to that, you know, I will also recommend that you, you know, always learn to start small. That is the message, that is the crux of this message. Learn to start small. You know, there's so much benefit in starting small. Starting small helps you not to make mistakes with big resources, like I've said. Then starting small helps you to learn some, you know, technicalities involved in their business, which they don't teach you in MBA or business school. Now, there is difference between consumer behavior in MBA class or MSc class. There is difference between consumer behavior in MBA class or MSc class and consumer behavior in a labor market they are practically different they are practically different so when you start small you are able to learn some secrets some technicalities you know that are involved in that line of business and at the end of the day you build expertise at the end of the day you know you build capacity and that helps you to be able to manage bigger resources so the only time I will advise you to pour all the money you have or a large portion of it into a business is when you have been in business, you want to expand. You want to diversify. You already know what it takes to manage resources. You, you might have made your mistakes in the past and now you are a better person with better capacity, with better expertise. And that will go a long way to see that you are able to take things from point A through B to point Z. And I will also advise you as well that if you have never done business before, don't take loan to go into business. Personal recommendation. Why? The same way. There is every likelihood that because you have never done business before, you will make mistakes. And it is a very huge burden for you to make mistakes with borrowed money. Now, there will be the burden to repay back the principal. There will also be the burden to repay back the interest, the cost of capital, the interest on the loan. So you need to be very, very mindful here. Very important. If you have never gone into business before, I will not advise you to pour all your capital into it. If you have never gone in, done business before, I will also not advise you to use credit facility to go into business the first time. If you have never done business before, that is my personal recommendation. That is my personal advice. Because there is a natural tendency that you will make mistakes. And when you make mistakes with borrowed money, that becomes a very, very big burden. You may end up still borrowing money to pay borrowed money, and you are still a borrower. That is very, very precarious. So learn to start small. There's so much benefit in starting small. Your beginning may be small, but along the line, with time, your later end will greatly increase. You have that big picture vision of that business that you have. It is very important to think big. Very, very important to think. It is powerful to think big, but start your journey one step at a time. You eat an elephant one bite at a time. This is just so important. And I strongly believe that profound value have been added to you today. I know you want to reach me, and that is why my phone numbers have been on the screen. The MTN is 080-66-865060. I take it one more time, 080-66-865060. Let me add the glow. It's on the screen as well. It's 80 529 one two zero. Take it just one more time. Zero eight zero five two nine two nine one two zero. I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday. I will not return. I will still be the amiable. Inuarata no sahai. Your day is so blessed. Thank you.